Hello, my name is Dr. Adrian Hicks, and I am the founder and professor of the USMLE Master System. Today I'd like to address a question from a student asking, how do I prepare differently for my USMLE Step 2 and 3 than I did for my USMLE Step 1? The answer to that question is actually you prepare the same. USMLE Step 2 as well as Step 3, they are the exact same as your USMLE Step 1 when it comes to material. Meaning that the only difference in the vignette is actually the last question or that last sentence, which is the question. When you prepare for your USMLE Step 1, it is called basic science, meaning that you learn the background information of a lot of diseases, illnesses that could cause problems in people. But you also start to learn the treatments with the pharmacology. And that's the difference between your USMLE Steps 2 and 3. So when you prepared for your USMLE Step 1, don't forget all that basic science information in which they ask you what is the diagnosis or what is the mechanism of action of the best drug to give for that illness. So therefore, when you study for your Step 2 clinical knowledge, you can step in and they're going to ask you what's the next step meaning that you have to learn the chronological order of the steps in which you have to um, treat a disease, and then you step in, and then you answer, what's next? Or they ask you what's best, that's a different question, but it's all the same information. So when you prepare for your USMLE Step 2 clinical skills, that's actually putting you on the spot. When you walk in a room and you talk to your patients and figure out what's wrong with them, you do a physical exam to make sure or you're confirming what it is that you're thinking was wrong with them and you leave the room and you make your notes off of your differential diagnoses that you know come to mind while you were in there with them. What, how is that different from step three? It's just a culmination of all that knowledge that you've learned from your USMLE step one. The application of that knowledge that you use for your step two. Both parts of step two, clinical knowledge as well as clinical skills. And for step three, you have a two-day examination. You have the multiple choice part in which you answer the questions about the background and the clinical skills application of that background. And then for your second day, you complete the multiple choice, and then you start working on the charting, which is similar to the clinical skills examination. So it's just a culmination of all the knowledge, but your application is a little bit different for your USMLE Step 2 and Step 3. So the best thing I could tell you to do when you study for your USMLE Step 2 and Step 3 is to review the knowledge that you've learned for your USMLE Step 1, and by the time you do have to take your step two and step three, you would have been in your clinical rotations or in your residency, and you would have applied all that information that you learned from your USMLE step one, and you have to physically use it in those multiple choice questions as well as the charting. So keep that information fresh. But if you need any assistance, reach out to us at the USMLE Master System. Visit us at www usmlemastersystem.net and if you have any questions send them to us at questions at usmlemastersystem.net